Hey, Mama Sugars. What's the tea? What the lick read? Let Mama feel your temperature. What's going on? What y'all got going on today? Right here at Clutch Burger. About to devour my lunch. I told y'all, it's my day off. I was going to get into the city and eat me some food. Because y'all know I'm greedy. Got my nails done. Got my feet done. And my lashes. You sound like a little patient no more. What's going on? What y'all got going on today? Let me catch up. Oh, y'all already know I got my black ketchup though. Don't even play. Let's say our grace. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Jesus, for this food. I am about to receive for the nourishment of my body. Thank you for all my blessings you stowed upon me. Amen. Let's get into it. Let's clutch, brother. Let's see what this is all about, honey. Mm -hmm. mm. So what y'all got going on today, ladies and gentlemen? What y'all got going on for the rest of the evening? Mm. I'm going to go this burger piece, honey. But y'all know I can handle it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mmm, mmm. It tastes so good, though. It's a big damn burger. <coughs> but you know I can handle it, though. Let's see. Excuse my mouth as it goes big like the burger. Mm. They try to get me together. This is delicious. You see that steam? Fresh, hot. Mmm. This is called a CB burger. Y'all know my onions on here. With cheese, languilla sauce, lettuce. Another thing, you know, I don't like tomatoes. So my burgers have never had no tomatoes on it, but I eat everything else though. Mm. Yeah, I'll pull up a chair and eat with me. How we're going for y'all so far. Mm -hmm. What y'all getting into tonight? It feels so good just being off, enjoying the day by myself. The phone is not ringing because you know they still think I'm asleep. A lot of my friends think I worked last night. This little brother made me feel sloppy, but it is delicious, honey. Mm. I ain't even need my black ketchup. You know, you need your black ketchup for real on a lot of things. When sometimes the food don't be seasoned, that black ketchup, it gets you right. But this is seasoned perfect. That's together two days in a row. The girls was missing me at work last night, y'all. And guess what I'm drinking? A lemonade. I told you it's the mystics. The tea. And a good old shot of lemonade. I don't 
don't know who, I don't know who over the lemonade, but they did a good job. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, y'all look. It's coming with a little onion rings on here. Didn't I tell y'all I was going to be the best candidate for this job? They got little fried little onions on here. You know the little small little curly onions. Mmm. These some big burgers. They probably say she look greedy. Give her extra. And I see y'all the comments. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Subscribe, like, and comment. Y'all crack me up. On this fish pop in, look how they get to me. Like I can work at McDonald's, huh? How was your night? What'd you do last night? I know y'all prayed before you laid. I know y'all did that. Lemonade don't owe me nothing. Tea set up. Mmm. This little burger was so, 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 so good. Delightfully delicious. I'm getting full. The burger won. They trying to get a girl shape. They trying to get into a girl shape with this big old burger, honey, but I ain't gonna let it. The devil is a liar. I ain't gonna let him get into the shape. Y'all see, I put my good wig on for y'all. My Miss Curly piece. Piece is tea. So, 
Let's do our little Q and A. Oh, this good. Take that home for later. They tried to work my shape, y'all. Y'all see this big ass baby? But it's delicious though. No too. The question was, have I ever danced? No. I've never danced. I was fine enough too though. You know, I was a young, shorty, black, big. They used to call me 240 shorty. I was counting the chili the team. Excuse me, but remember, I'm 1971, baby. So, in the 80s, stripping wasn't like it is now. There was no Instagram, no YouTube, you know, nothing to, you know, how it's magnetized now. It's big. My friends started dancing in the 90s. So, you know, by that time, I had to start. I didn't have Ricky. Ricky was born in 1990. So, y'all know I wasn't about to dance. But I used to hang out in strip clubs because how I started hanging out in strip clubs, my little filthy little boyfriend told a strip club up, leave me home, and I had to go on the strip club and show out and let him know who the mama was. Stop playing with me. So that's how I got into the strip club. So since I saw that I couldn't be him, I joined him. Baby, when he turned around and looked up, it was me at the strip club with my friends. Because you had to have a male escort to get in the club. So my little homeboys, they escort me in the club. And baby, it was on from there. We quit and everything. Don't worry about it because you're going to have to beat me up out here now. Because I love it. You know? And my friends had to start a dance about it too. So the strip clubs now are like the club. You don't even have to um, go to the regular clubs no more. You just come to the strip club. And the second part of the question was, how do I stay neutral when it comes to the girls in the club? Because I'm a mama. So that's like me having two or more kids. You know, I can't jump size and be on my, you know, or have a favorite kid. You got to be neutral with your kids. So that's how I am. I listen. A lot. I listen to them, you know, and what they tell me, you know, and I don't take it back to the other one and say, oh, because Sonika Lika said that you chicka chicka cha and all that. No, 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 no. Just like your mama, you stay neutral. You listen to all your kids. And see, when you listen, see, we all can see together, but we can't talk at the same time. So when you listen to your kids, you get the whole full story, the truth, because it's three sides to every story. Your side, they side. And then there's the truth, you know. So you listen to everything they got to say because it'd be a whole brawl back there. And the root of it all is that money. That's all they arguing about. They ain't arguing about nothing else but that money. And like I say, girls like to cut girls out of money. You know, they get very, very, very slimy when it comes to money. So I just stay neutral, you know, and I listen, you know. And then I say, okay, I'm going to talk to her, you know, then let them know, like, I ain't choose your side and I ain't choose her side. I'm going to talk and then I'm going to sit both y'all down and I'm going to talk. And then I never let them leave out of their mad unless it got, before it got to me, it was an already heated conversation or they already started arguing or they was they had a little fight or something, a little scuffle on the floor. You know, then it's at the point of no return. But when they return, they behind back to work, oh, I kiss them together because they better than that. You can't let money rule you, you know, and you know, you can't do that. You just can't do that. You know? So, I stay out of it. You know, I'm I'm the mama. So, I'm the adult. You know, they're adults too, but I'm the, the older adult. So, I have to stay out. They foolishness. I can't add to the foolishness of what they got going on. You know, that just ain't right. You know, so, I stay out of it. You know? And I, listen, I see all y'all comments. I appreciate all of y'all. I see all your comments, you know. I read everything. Like last night, I had nothing to do but read. I kicked my feet up, watch my Miss Love and Hip Hop, and baby, it felt so good to be home on a Tuesday. My bed ain't seen me. My bed seen me Tuesday morning coming from work at about six, seven, and then my bed don't see me until uh, seven, eight, you know, eight o'clock. Wednesday, you know, so it felt so good. I read all y'all comments, and you know, some of y'all came in my inbox 
on Instagram and you know we chopped it up a little bit you know I love all that I appreciate you guys and I thank you for getting me across my threshold y'all live y'all all the way live y'all my babies I mess with y'all a long way you hear me so you know keep on coming because I see everything you know I see it all you know you know I and let your haters be your motivators you know <laughs> I see it all, but it's all love, you know? Like I told you, my haters gonna love me because I'm just that type of person. I'm GQ Gucci, you hear me? So they can't do nothing but love me, and I love it all. So like I said, keep them coming because I see it, you know? And then um, one girl came on um, and made a comment about um, she a young girl, um, and when she turned 18, she wanted to dance, you know, because she went through a lot of trying times in her life, you know, with her family situation and everything. I understand that, you know, um, but I don't tell a woman, come dance. It's going to be great because it may or may not work for you because it's a job at the end of the day. And sometimes it gets stressful, you know. Because you got some men that come in this club now, act like they've never been with a woman before, and they very touchy, and they very feely, and you might not be in the mood for all that every day, you know? So, those are some things you have to think about, but again, it's great money, but it's what you make of it. Get in, get to the money, and get out. Set a goal, you know? Excuse me, I got a lot of girls set their goals and say, I'm going to dance for a year. Dance for two years. I'm trying to buy me a house. I'm trying to go to school. Those are the goals I want you to set. Stick to them and don't get sucked in. You know, get in and get out. And go to your bed at night. You understand me? So, you know, it's a lot of money. You know, and then it's a lot of late nights. You know, so you just have to make the best of it it's not all always gonna be song and dance it's not gonna always be a good night you know because the strip club does have slow nights you know like Monday Tuesdays and slow night unless it's an event and somebody came to perform or it's a holiday you know most the eve of holiday usually is on a Sunday and then the legal holidays are usually on a Monday like Martin Luther King everybody come party Sunday and then they you know happy hour ish Monday, but you know, but it has great times. I met some great people in this in this um building, you know, and they're still my friends. You know, I have met some great women in this building, mothers, uh entertainers, you know. So and they have used what they know to get where they got to get. You feel me? So if you use it for that, because listen. Back in the day, when my friends started dancing, like Portia, uh, and back to that, um, let me give y'all a quick story on something. Remember I said I used to go to the strip club and beat my dude up at the club? <laughs> the girl that I used to fight all the time about this dude, because he was telling her one thing and telling me another, was Portia. And uh, Portia, was a, she was a big time dancer at Club Rolex, you know, on her day or whatever. So my friend, my guy friends that had went in there, they had to see him in the club. And they was like, oh, he messed with this girl named Portia. So, you know, I had to do this very much investigation, work piece, and find out what the tea was, you know. Because he was tearing the strip club up. Oh, you know, back then, I couldn't do nothing right. Everything I did was wrong, you know, because he had a numerous girlfriend. So... I was a young Latinda. I when I was I was like twenty one. I had just had Ricky. I was twenty when I had Ricky. So me and Ricky dad had done broke up, and then I had got into another relationship. So I was like twenty one, twenty two. So I couldn't do nothing right. So I was wondering, oh he, oh if I cook oxtails, he wanted steak. If I cook collard greens, he wanted string beans. No tea though. So I built my little investigation. You know, passed by the little club. He, I had a white maximum, and he'll drive my car to the club. He don't board me. You know, my club sit, my my car sitting outside. But long story short, I went in the club, beat him up, 
and found out he was messing with Portia. And she was supposed to be pregnant. This the team from my boyfriend. But I said all this to say, God is so good. Do y'all know that this same Portia is now my good, good Judy, one of my sisters. You understand? And people look at us like, how the hell are they friends? And they used to be fighting like cats and dogs. <laughs> Ain't God great? Because what happened was we sat down like women. Because we were both the same age. I'm, uh, I'm older than her. So at that time, Portia had to be like 20. Portia started dancing. She was like 16 with a fake ID and all of that. So by this time, she had to be like 20 because I was like 22. So once we sat down and chopped it up like women at a young age and found out that he was lying to her and lying to me. And we figured that out. Maybe we was good. We double teamed on him. You know, we started dapping it up and okay, you he had a little change. So you ask for your money on the on the on the fifth, and I'm gonna ask for mine on the first, because I'm in house. I'm girlfriend peace. So, you know, you ask for your money and I'm gonna ask for my money. And once he found out that we was friends and we was getting along, he ain't like that. He ain't like that. So he quit both of us. And it was cute. You know, but I just go to that goes to show you how men could be very messy. And want you to fight over them and all that. And child, when I look back at him, because I'm 49 now, when I look back at him, I be like, tell you for real. Not for real. But I learned some great lessons from him, though. And to the day, we still speak and we still cool. And we and now we laugh about this kind of stuff. But baby, when I was young, I was young and wild, and I used to be ready to fight. By my little boyfriend, Charlie, he was child. He was so tired. He just had a little change, but child, he was tired. You feel me? But that's my that's my dog right now. My greatest lessons I learned from him. So I just had to share that with y'all and let y'all know. Like, mama got some stories too. I ain't always been forty nine, and I ain't always been mama. I once was y'all age, so you know, it's life. I got some great stories to tell y'all about me, about my friends. That's why I'm going to bring them on here, and we're going to chop it up. I'm going to either bring Portia on here, so she, because she's funny as hell. So she could tell you about, you know, the things that we went through and, you know, how the streets accept our friendship. A lot of people don't try to come in between it and be like, girl, how y'all trust each other? Because once you chop it up, because we would have never been, and let me give y'all this one. We share the same God mama. <laughs> Ain't that something? We shut the same God mama and Portia was a church girl sneaking in the club to dance. And this was in the early 90s when money was real good in Miami. It was easy for you to get you a boyfriend out of the club because it, it was so fruitful. Money was everywhere. They didn't mind spending it. They had you, her, her, and her, and her. You know, so they ain't mind spending no money. And, you know, if they had a hundred thousand, they ain't mind getting you twenty. Go start you a business. That's why I say the guys back then were different from some of the guys today. Because the guys back then they really wanted you to find your niche and and get to it. I told you my niche was being a cosmetologist. So, you know, I just wanted to share that with y'all. You know, and give me some of your um experiences. You know, comment, talk to me. You know, so we can chop it up tonight while I'm laying in bed because I'm off again tonight. I'm really off tonight. I told you I'm off Wednesday, Thursday. And I was working Fridays, but now we have a new house mom. So I don't have to work on Fridays. I'll only be working on special events. So we can chop it up. I ain't going back to work till Saturday. I don't know what to do with myself, y'all. So y'all going to entertain me and keep me company while I'm off. How about that? And we just chop it up. And just have us some fun and talk about all kind of stuff, you know. But um, me and Portia, that's my dog. And guess what Portia's name is, y'all? Taya. Ain't that something? Taya. <laughs> uh, but that's my dog, and I love her. And yes, so that was early '90s. So he was messing with her life from because Ricky was a little tiny baby so i'm gonna say like 
from like 91, 92, you know, on and off, me and him on and off. And when me and him on and off, she be the girlfriend. And when we be, you know, it, it was just crazy back then. And then when we back on, they off, you know, he just was playing games. But, you know, we passed that night. We grown, you know, both of us in our 40s. She's retired from dancing, you know, and has gone on to great things. You know, had her own um, plus size pageant, you know, and this, she's doing great things now. And a lot of my friends, I'm very proud that they got out the game, you know, they got their money in the game, and then they got out the game, you know, and they solid, you know. So that's why I tell you, it's not all horror stories in the club, and it's not all great stories either. You know, like I told you, my little baby butter, she passed away. So, you know, that's heartbreaking. I hate that part. You know, I hate that part, but, you know, we done had some girls, too, you know, get into car accidents, leaving work, and, or, you know, their boyfriend's jealous and, you know, attack them and beat them up, you know? But guess what? As a family, you know, if they survived it, we, we stay in prayer. We a family, and that's what we got to do. But, you know, and some great stories, like I said, Portia, Pinky, uh, Tip, uh, Dime, uh, Dime Peace. You know, like, it's some girls that got that got out the club. You know, they on to other things, bigger and better. You know, so, it, you know, it's always a downside and it's always an upside. But we love those upsides. You know, got their money and got the hell on. And, and, some, and was still living off their money for a long time. But it's a lot of people that spent their money crazy, too. You know, like, just spend their money because, you know, you can go to work. And make you four five thousand dollars. So you go to the Gucci store, you go to the Louis Vuitton store, you go, you spend your money. Cause in Miami, it's always something to do. You know, it's always a party going on. So you've been over to work, and you've been over to the to, to Bell Harbor, and I spent your whole five thousand dollars on outfits, trying to get ready for the club. And then remember, you gotta have money for the club. Well, not back then because all the boys treated, and all the boys made sure all the girls was okay. You and all your friends because he had us over here. And he had them over there. And he had the other ones over there. You know, so. The tales of Miami. I got a lot of tales to tell y'all about, baby. But I wouldn't have been want to be raised in another time. But during those times. <laughs> Crazy, right? So, i am finished my lunch. I love y'all. Thanks for subscribing, liking, and commenting. Until next time, people. Mama Sugar, give me some sugar. That's going to take me through the day. I love y'all. Talk to me. I'm going to answer you. Until next time. See you.